This is my favorite microchip. It's small enough to fit on the tip of your finger. It makes all kinds of colored patterns as it moves in the light. The large uniform areas in the center of this chip are for data storage. This chip contains a large number of features that consist of memory storage cells. Here, you can see a model number on this chip. It says KM23C4000D. This number matches the following specification document, which describes a 4 megabit CMOS mask ROM. A mask ROM is a type of read-only memory that can only be programmed at the time of manufacture. The information contained in a mask ROM microchip is physically engraved in the features of the photolithographic mask that's used when manufacturing the chip. General purpose ROM is usually still electronically reprogrammable after the time of manufacture. However, a mask ROM is true to its name, since it will always contain the same physically hard-coded information that's permanently etched into the chip. For this reason, mask ROMs are only economically feasible when identical chips are ordered in very large quantities. Here, you can see a pinout diagram for this chip. And here, you can see the square bond points that physically connect to the pins on the chip. It's a fun game to try and figure out which pins in this diagram correspond to the bond points on the chip. Most of the square bond points on this chip are address or data lines. The 19 address lines are used to select which memory byte to read from. And the 8 data lines are used to read out the data at that individual byte on the chip. This chip also contains a number of other tiny details that implement features like data buffering, address decoding, and control logic. 